total number of cases in Karnataka surges to 794. Death toll stands at 30, while 386 people have been discharged successfully. Twelve new COVID-19 cases reported from Bengaluru, seven cases from Padarayanapura and five cases from Hongasandra. Total number of COVID-19 cases in Bengaluru rises to 175. All seven cases from Ward number 135 are contacts of accused in Padarayanapura violence case. Health department to conduct more tests in the area. Chief Minister B.S. Yadirappa to hold a video conference with all state BJP district presidents regarding the COVID-19 situation. Migrant workers, pilgrims, tourists, students and others can hire and use buses provided by KSRTC and WKRTC, NEKRTC on payment basis for travel from Karnataka to other states with relevant permission. Total number of COVID-19 cases in India rises to 59,662. Death toll stands at 1,981, while 17,846 people have been discharged. 62 new COVID-19 positive cases have been reported in the CRPF. Total number of cases in the CRPF rises to 234. Cabinet Secretary Rajiv Gauba will hold a video conference over containing COVID-19 with all states and union territories at 10 a.m. today. Chief Secretaries and Principal Secretaries Health from Health Department from states to take part in the meeting. Ship from Maldives with about 700 stranded Indians to arrive in Kochi on May 10th. Operation Samudra Setu is the Indian Navy's first massive evacuation exercise during the COVID-19 pandemic. Kuwait imposes 20-day total curfew starting today to curb coronavirus. During the curfew, public sectors will work remotely and private sector activities, excluding vital ones, will be suspended.